Welcome! My name is Bonnie Petrie. I'm one of the reference librarians, and I'm going to show you how to find the full text of the articles you need. The FAO Library subscribes to over 150 databases that have lots of full text. So you want to be sure to start your search for articles on our website using our databases. We've paid the bills for all these databases so that you can have the full text for free. And I'm going to go down and click on the Choose a Database button. On the next screen, you'll see that we have databases A to Z by their titles, if you happen to know the title of your, of your database. And on the left-hand side, some large subject areas that we've put our different databases into. And I'm going to go down to the one for psychology. The first one that comes up is the Psych Info database, and I'm going to click on that. And on the search screen, I am going to enter a very simple search. So we have something to look at here in my demonstration. I'm also going to scroll down a little bit, and I'm going to click in the box for scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. I am not going to click in the box that says full text. And you should never click in it either when you see the full text box on a search screen. The reason you should leave those alone is we have paid extra for a special system that overlays everything that we subscribe to, whether it's online or off, that will get you the maximum amount of full text with the least effort. If you click in the full text box that's on the search screen, you turn off that system we paid extra for and you only get the full text in that one database instead of the maximum amount that you could have gotten. So leave those alone. Unfortunately, we have not been able to make those just go away. But if you do see a box for scholarly or peer-reviewed, that's usually a good one to click on. And now I'm going to run that search. Okay, our first item, uh, Developing a Teddy Bear Therapy Training Program for Family Therapists. That's the title of our article. Uh, we're seeing the authors here, and we're seeing the title of the journal, Australian and New Zealand Journal of Family Therapy, the volume, the issue, and the date, and the pages. We're also getting a few subject terms here. This is what we're looking at here in our search results list is the brief record for each article that we've retrieved. We've got 104 here. And this first one happens to have the full text right here in the PsycInfo database. You have a choice of HTML or PDF. And when you do have a choice, uh, it's always best to go with the PDF, just in case there are any photos or graphs or charts, anything that's a little more visual. It's going to show up better in the PDF version. And you can click on the title to go to a longer screen, still not looking at the full text. But if you scroll down, you've got an abstract or summary that gives you an idea of the content of that article so you can decide if you really like it for your research or not before you bother getting that full text. And we also have access on this screen to the links for the HTML and the PDF full text. I'm going to go back to the result list and I'm going to scroll down to Number six here. So this article, Touching a Teddy Bear Mitigates Negative Effects of Social Exclusion to Increase Pro-Social Behavior. That's the title of our article. And I'm going to click on the Search for Full Text button. This blue button is the business that we paid extra for that automatically checks everything for you and gets you the maximum amount of full text.
OK. And here's uh, the link to our full text. It happens to also be the name of the database. So we just click right there. And now we've gone from the PsycInfo database into the SAGE database so we can get our full text. And here we're seeing, once again, our citation information. And if we scroll down just a little bit, we've got the abstract, we've got some keywords, and a little further down, this particular database is giving us the HTML full text. And we also have a choice of downloading the PDF with this button over here. These uh, screens will look very different as you jump from database to database. But don't let that throw you, because when you're jumping from database to database looking for that full text, those screens are still trying to do the same job of getting that full text to you. Sometimes you just have to kind of study them a little bit to find out where they've hidden the link to the PDF. All right, I'm going to go back and back to my result list once again. And I'm going to go up to the second one, An Introduction to Teddy Bear Therapy, a Systems Family Therapy Approach to Child Psychotherapy. Let's try this one. And our search for full text system will be absolutely truthful, and it will tell you if we do not have a copy of the full text of any particular article. However, you've got a couple of options for actually getting it. You can check for a free version in Google Scholar. We've got a link set up to do that for you right there. And sometimes you do get lucky. Let's see if we do. So we found the exact match. But unfortunately, over here, it's just blank. There's no PDF or HTML link. And if you click on the title of the article, you will land up on a screen where they will gleefully charge you lots of money for the full text. So we can't get this one that way. Since we didn't find a free version in Google Scholar, we're going to go for another free version through our Interlibrary Loan service. Uh, Interlibrary Loan will uh, try to find the full text of the article at a library that does have it and have a copy sent to you through email. And if you have set up an Interlibrary Loan account, and again, this is a free service, uh, but you have to set up an account so we can get in touch with you. If you've already set up an account, as I have, when you click on this link, get this article through Interlibrary Loan, it will take you to your Interlibrary Loan account, and it will automatically paste the citation information that we need in order to get that article's full text right in to the online form. So you can easily give it a quick look and make sure that it looks uh, correct and complete. And then just scroll down and submit a request. Easy, easy. And when your article comes in, you will get an email that tells you to get into your interlibrary loan account and go to this section, Electronically Received Articles. And you can see on this screen, one that I have sitting here, uh, they will stay for 30 days from the day that they show, first show up. And you can download a copy, and you can keep that and use it for your research. And again, I'm going to back up here and go to the result list. I'm going to show you another variation. with number 9, Assessment of Unilateral Spatial Neglect in Children Using the Teddy Bear Cancellation Test. And I'm going to click on Search for Full Text.
And this time, we have more than one link to the full text. So we've got a couple of things there from Wiley, uh, three things from Wiley, and a couple of things from a company called ProQuest. When you have multiple choices like this, you want to make sure that the time period they cover, and they'll tell you right here. So this one says it started coverage in 1997, and it keeps on going. You want to be sure that this time coverage will encompass the time co that you need here. And here we need a 2006. That's later than 1997, so we're good. And we can go ahead and click on that first one. And now we're in the Wiley Online Library. Once again, we're seeing our citation coming up at the top. And if we scroll down a little bit here, we're just getting an abstract or summary, not the HTML full text like we did in the other, data, the other database. But we are getting a PDF link. Here it's kind of a tiny little thing, and you might easily overlook that. Sometimes, as I said before, you have to kind of study the screen to see exactly where they've put that link for the full text. Okay, so I'm going to go back again, and I'm going to do a new search. So I'm going to take that one out. And search. Okay, so the second article, Issues of Self-Image Among Overweight African American and Caucasian Adolescent Girls, a Qualitative Study, is the one I wanted to demonstrate for you. This time when I click on Search for Full Text, I'm seeing something different here. What this screen is telling me is that this article is in print in the Journal of Nutrition Education on the library's third floor. And you've got a floor map over here if you need it. And you can see that on the third floor we've got the periodicals collection. And periodicals is just the generic term for anything that's published more than once a year, one after another. This is newspapers, magazines, journals, all of that. The periodicals collection is just shelved alphabetical by the title, and the A's are down here, the Z's are over here. So when you go back to your citation, and you'll want to write this down or, or print it out so you can take it with you, you're going to go to the third floor. You'll find the Journal of Nutrition Education. We have more years than 1999. And here it tells us that we have from 1983 through 2001. So you're going to go for that year. And then you're going to go for that volume 31. You're going to look for issue number 6. And you're going to go to page 311 and then make a photocopy or scan. Now that's what you would do under normal circumstances. Right now, we are in the middle of the coronavirus crisis. And in recognition of the fact that the library building is closed, you would need to rely on interlibrary loan to get that article. And they will get that for you. I'm going to switch databases now so I can show you the next example. So I'm back at the front page of the library's website. I'm going to slide down there, go to choose a database, and this time I'm going to click on the section for education. And I'm going to get into that first database, Eric. Now although this looks exactly like the PsycInfo database, because it uses the same EBSCOhost software, it really is a different database. PsycInfo focuses on the literature of psychology, and Eric focuses on education. 
but it functions in the same way. So I'm going to enter my search. And I'm going to scroll down and click in the box for scholarly or peer-reviewed journals, and I'm going to leave the full text box alone. And run the search. And I have found the article I wanted to demonstrate, Ending Isolation, the Payoff of Teacher Teams in Successful High-Poverty Urban Schools. When you click on Search for Full Text on this article, you get a link to the full text. And when you click on that, you end up on a screen that looks very different from the ones we've been seeing. Instead of an HTML full text with a button for the PDF, we are on actually a website for this one journal. The journal's name is Teacher's College Record. And what it's doing is it's giving you a list of all of the years that they've been publishing and all of their issues. So there's two ways of proceeding when you get onto one of these screens. One way is uh, you know, to check your citation to see which year you need. And we need a 2018. And then once you click on that, you get the volume for that year, which is 120. And we know from our citation that we need volume 120, number 5. And now we see the table of contents for that one issue. And there's our article. It's the third one down, Ending Isolation. And there's the PDF that we can click on. That's one way of proceeding when you end up on a screen like that. The other way is you usually will have some sort of a search box when you land on a search on a website for just one journal. And so we could have, instead of matching to our citation, we could have just copied and pasted our search that we did in the ERIC database. And then search. And there's our article again with the PDF. I want to show you one last thing. Sometimes you need the full text of an article and all you have is something on a piece of paper. You're not online and there's nothing to click on. Uh, maybe your professor gave you an assigned reading and instead of giving you the whole article has only given you the citation and the professor expects you to track it down and find the full text. Or maybe you have a printout of a scholarly journal article that you really like for your research and you're looking at that list of references at the end for other things that you could use and you find something there. So this is what you would do when you're in a situation like that. You want to go to the first page of the library's website and you want to use the OneSearch database. Now OneSearch uh, is uh, absolutely no false advertising. Um, it will search all of our databases at once. It's really overwhelming if you're doing a subject search, but when you're looking to see where the full text of a particular article might be, it's exactly what you need. And so I'm going to click there and put in my search. And so the title of the article that I want to find the full text of is Pet Therapy, Initiating a Program. And once I enter my search, I get this menu, and I want to choose Articles. And then I'm going to click and Search. And there's a match for our article. And here the full text availability looks a little bit different. We've got these green letters instead of something else. And so we're going to click there. And then we get to a screen which looks very similar to what we've been seeing before with the links to the full text. 
And that is the end of this workshop. Good luck on your research and may all your articles be full text.